All right, still back again. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, we're going to check this on this hive. I want to say this is a swarm that I caught. I can't remember. But I think it is. It's a swarm I caught. And uh, they started them off in a nuke, put them in a this, uh, 10 frame box, and then I moved them over here. So we're just going to check on them. See how they're doing. See all this right here? These are black ants. I don't know why there's such a problem for just this hive. I guess I need to get them up off the ground a little higher. Because every time I come over here, it's the same old thing with them. See the new comb that they've built out, looking good. That's always a good sign. Lot, oh, that's how our whole entire frame is nectar. And the back side is crap. That's another one of them frames that you need to either save for swarm traps or uh, melt down in the wax melter. That's how you stir bees up. Let a frame slide off. I'm trying to keep them off the ground over here because it's so much pine straw. As you can see, that's not working. Nectar, capped honey at the top. Now this frame right here is one that I just put in there that was uh, just a foundation. So let's see how much they've drawn it out. They've drawn it out pretty good. We got uh, capped honey, some nectar, and there's some pollen right in there too. We can see if we had any eggs. A few little eggs. No larva. Cat brood. You can see I don't know if the camera pick it up or not, but there's different stages of eggs and larva on this frame right here. The screen's so small on this camera I can't tell if you can see it or not, but there's eggs and larva and then there's cat brood. I think it's picking it up. And this is a normal thing right here. They normally have a uh, where they lay the eggs at, then they got a ring of pollen, and then they put a honey store across the top. So that's normal. But those are, that's larva you see right there. And then it goes back to the different stages of the larva, and then it goes back to, to the eggs that she has just laid. So that's a, your, uh, Classic run of the mill. That's how a frame's supposed to look. And a couple more days, this whole thing will be nothing but eggs, except for where the pollen and the, the honey's at. So this frame's doing this uh, hive doing good. I don't need to go any further than that. We know we got a, a queen that's laying, and there's no reason to disturb the hive any more than that right there.
Now when I have a hive like this, I always try to put the frames back in the order. If I got one that, you know, like the, uh, in the other videos, if it's kind of iffy, if they're queenless or whatever, I just go ahead and put the frames back in and try to go ahead and get it closed up. But if you got a hive that's doing good, it's always a good idea to put your frames back in like they're supposed to be, like you took them out. Uh, hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all learning some stuff on these videos. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe. And uh, as always, we'll see you on the next one.